Hey guys, welcome back to LS Tech, it's your boy Lucky and today I'm going to give you a full tour of my room slash office so my gaming setup, my desk and then everything and show you guys everything I have I think everything is finally set up and it's getting into place so I just want to give you a tour of everything but yeah, as always, make sure you subscribe, leave a like but yeah, let's begin with the video Okay, let's begin with the table itself so this one is from Ikea, it's the Linman desk but they're like straws so I've just picked the 200 centimeter one which is the big one but you can pick anything for your size but I thought this was a perfect size and I picked two of the like straws to support it and I went just for white and white and it looks really nice you can get loads of different colors but that really depends on you but I thought the white looks nice and I went with a white style theme for my house anyway so I kept it white as well and on top I've got the electric drawer without the drawers because of my mouse pad I just wanted it to be it wouldn't fit with the mouse pad on so I had to get rid of the drawers and I've just kept the same monitor stand which looks really nice and I can use my mouse pad fully now as well because it's a big size but yeah it lets in really nice light as well as you can see it looks really nice and overall the white desk and everything just looks really nice and simple and elegant which I really like on top of that I've got my monitor which is the Apple Thunderbolt display. I'm still using it and I love it. It's an amazing display. The colors, everything is really nice. I know it's a really old, but still it's holding off and it's doing an amazing job. You can still pick these up for like 800 pounds, 800 euros, which is really cheap, compared, which is expensive, I mean. They started at 1,000 and really after all these years, they're still keeping up the price, which is really good. But yeah, on both sides, I've got my Yamaha speakers. As you can see, I went for the black version. These are the Yamaha HS5. You can get a 3 and a 7 as well, and I think that's a 8 as well now. But these are some amazing speakers. They are professional desktop monitoring speakers. So they are producing a lot of greater sound, vocals, mid and everything. It's just really good. I'm using a Yamaha mixer to power these as well to get it connected to my MacBook Pro. It's just elegant, beautiful sound, you can't go wrong here. And next to that, I've got my iPod 4th Gen and as well as my iPod Classic. Uh, they just um, they both work, they don't, they're, they're not wrong with them. I just have them, they look really nice and as a bit of personality attached to my desk, so I've kept them there. But yeah, and next to my Yamaha mixer, I've got my Google Wi-Fi, so I'm actually using a Google Wi-Fi system in my house I've actually got three one here one in the hallway and one in the living room as well but the Wi-Fi is much much better than the standard hood I had before but it's really nice and you can control it and give you loads of different features which is amazing but yeah on the other side I've got my Mac Pro so I'm still using my Mac Pro from 2013 it's a beast there's still the 6 core dual GPU and everything and it's absolutely amazing it's getting old but I have no attempt of upgrading and it's not even slowing me down and I'm loving it and it's just a job that's what matters for my video editing photo and everything it's super speedy and I've got no issues for gaming yeah it's not really but I'm more of a console gamer so I don't mind that but yeah so yeah on both sides I've got my headphones on one side I've got my Sony WH 1000 Mark III. These are like the best noise cancelling headphones. I'm gonna have a review up soon, but these are like amazing. I love them, and literally, I had the previous one, and you can't go wrong here. These are the king of noise cancelling headphones, and they're just amazing. I've got the black color, but I do have my Beats Studio 3 as well on the other side. These are the blue ones. I used to have the black as well, but I'm just using the blue one because my Sony is black, so. I love my blues and you know that but yeah these both do their job nothing there to complain and for listening music in my room I've actually got two home pods on both sides in the stereo mode and like these home pods like I can't say they just make the best sound like they sound really good like the bass is nice and deep vocals and everything sounds really good and I enjoy like I really enjoy listening to music with these all the time I'm cleaning up, just doing random work. I'm always using my home pods for more editing. I use my Yamaha speakers, but these you can't go wrong. I got one on both sides in the black, and they are amazing. They're just amazing, guys. Simple as that. 
that's the word I can say. But yeah, and my Preforce, I'm using, of course I'm using a Mac, so of course I've got a Mac Apple Accessories, the, the Apple Trackpad 2 in the Space Gray as well as the Number Pad in Space Gray as well as the Magic Mouse in Space Gray. But I do have my Logitech Performance MX, it's like the best editing mouse, working mouse, performance to do any sort of productivity work, this is the best mouse, so I have both, I actually have three, but yeah, they are really nice, and I've got for the old black theme here, Space Gray, which looks nice, and on top of this large mouse pad, as I said, it's a nice mouse pad, it is a job, and I can always have other stuff here, and it's not going to damage my desk, but yeah, that's my desk setup, guys, as you can see, it looks nice. It's improved over the time, I'm gonna add more stuff, but yeah, so now for the summer this is how it looks. But yeah, let's look on the side where I've got my gaming gear. Have a look at the chair first, so I'm using the Diablo chair here, this is the Horn X. It's a nice, comfortable chair with loads of adjustables and everything, and it's nice. You've got back support, and you've got this neck support here in the back as well, which is really nice. And I got in the black and white theme here, I could have gone for blue, but the black one with the white stripe looks much better, so I picked that up. But yeah, let's look at my gaming size. So as you can see, I've got this 55-inch Philips TV with the ambient light as well as Android TV, which is like the two main things I wanted because I got so much Philips TV light in my room. You can't go wrong there. So I went for this TV, and it's 4K, and it's a nice picture quality. Everything is nice. It's not expensive anything, but it does the job, and I'm very happy with it. It's not a LED, it's still a LCD display, but the pictures, everything looks really nice. Nice and sharp, and the ambient lights create a nice atmosphere, with the colors behind change and everything, which is really nice. But yeah, below that, I've got my Philips soundbar. It's a standard 2.1 channel soundbar, nothing fancy there, but it does the job, and I'm very really happy with it. Next to that, on both sides, I've got two PlayStation 4 controller docks. One side, I've got the blue controller with the players of days controller, days of plays. I can't get that right, but yeah. Another side, I've got another blue one with my, and on the other side, I've got another blue one. But on top of that, I've got the special edition, the 500 million edition transparent controller. It's a nice little elegant controller. I had to pick it up because I actually have the console as well. But yeah, below that, I've got my Xbox One S here in the white color. I really don't use my Xbox a lot, I just have it, I've played a few games, but I'm not really digging the Xbox thing, I'm a PlayStation guy, guys, as you probably can see by now, but yeah, next to that, I've got my 500 million edition PlayStation 4, you guys are wondering, why would I pick that up, yes, it's really expensive, these retails for around a thousand euros, even now, you can pick them up for two thousand euros, if it's got, if you got a good mint condition, mine's this, has got a few marks, but probably, to a thousand is a it really it's really expensive but the design and it's just timepiece so I had to pick it up and I have it and I love it. Next to that I've got the Players of Days edition, the blue one with the gold theme. This is the 2018 edition. The 2019 edition came out as well. I was not I was not digging the space grey theme. It's a lighter grey, it didn't have that much special on it so I haven't picked it up. But yeah, next to that, I've got my PlayStation VR headset and the controllers. I really don't use it. Like, when people come over just to show them, I put it on and they go, wow. But really, I really don't play games. Sometimes I watch football games on it. Every time. Like, in the VR experience, it looks really nice. But I really don't play games on it. But yeah, and next to that, this is like my side desk table where I've got my Google Home Pod. Google Home Pod? The Google Home Hub. And next to that, I've got my Nintendo Switch, the Pokemon Edition, the Pikachu version. And I've got the controller as well as another Xbox controller just laying around there. But yeah, and below everything, as you can see, I'm a big Apple fanboy. And I've got all my Apple products here. The ones I have my previous and everything just laying there. Couldn't throw them out. The boxes are really nice and I've always kept them. Don't like throw them out, so they're really there. Just making like some decoration stuff at the bottom, got some space so I just put everything there. Yeah. They look nice, all of the different colours, the boxes, the stripes and everything. All of them are bought which is really nice, but yeah.
So yeah, that was the gaming setup. As you saw, it looks really nice. My desk, my gaming, everything. Color stuff, everything is nice and simple. It's not crowded. I know I don't have any minifigures, which I'm gonna add on to, but so now it's just all simple, nothing too much. But yeah, guys, I do hope you like my video. Hope you like my tour of my gaming and my desk setup. If you got any suggestion in any other products I should try out, maybe add to my collection, do let me know, guys. But yeah, as always, thank you for watching the video, guys. Make sure you subscribe, leave a like, share the video with your family and friends. But as always, thank you for watching the video. Make sure you subscribe, leave a like, and I'll see you next one, guys. Take care.